All right, guys, now I'm going to make a fake wood backdrop. Um, I have these backer materials from work that uh, were okay to take home, guys. And these are kind of rigid, but um, if you break, if you bend them too much, they'll just snap in half. So, uh, yeah, I bought some wooden, um, fake wood vinyl shelf covering here, guys. And um, I'm going to put that onto these backers. So I'm going to have one on the bottom and one in the back. And um, I used to use this, but this gets all marked up, guys, and gets dirty. So uh, with the fake wood laminate, I'll be able to clean it off. And um, yeah, I think it's going to work out pretty good. So I'm going to do that for my, uh, I use it for my shoes, my coffee mugs, and my hats. So I'm going to try to get this done tonight, and uh, I'll be back, guys. Peace. All right, so this is the first piece that I put down, guys. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I definitely have some air bubbles in here, guys. Um, it's not perfect. And there's a couple little gouges from uh, using my Goodwill card to spread it out. So it's not perfect, guys, but um, this is my first try at this. So I get this piece. I got to do another piece right here, and then I got to tape up that one over there, guys. And um, yeah, it's not perfect, but um, it's going to be a lot better than what I'm using right now. So, uh, and I don't think you're really going to see the air bubbles in the pictures. So, hopefully the next one's going to be a little flat on this one, guys. I'll be back. All right, guys, I just laid down the second piece. And um, it has the air bubbles, but it's not as bad as the first one that I did. It's definitely not perfect. So you can see the air bubbles, guys. So, yeah, this is definitely not easy to do, but... Uh, I'm trying the best I can, and um, hopefully it's all set up. You really can't see the air bubbles, so it's hard to see them at that angle. So um, I'm gonna finish this up, guys, and um, I'll show you show you what it looks like. I'll be back soon. All right, so I just put down the strip on this one side, right here, guys, and uh, you really can't see it. So I get one completely done. I only have to do one side a piece, and then. Uh, this one, I'm just going to do that little strip right there. And then um, I'm going to move this out of the way and set it up and see what it looks like, guys. So here we go. All right, guys. So I finished this up and uh, it came out pretty good. Not perfect. It definitely has some air bubbles in it, but um, they're not going to be easy to see. You know what I'm saying? So, so when I take pictures of my shoes, it'll be looking like this, guys. Instead of, uh, <laughs> instead of, where did it go? Oh, my board's behind that. But anyways, yeah, it's going to look a lot better than it did before. And um, this wasn't really hard to do. And I have extra material, so if this gets scraped, just scratched up, I can uh, I can replace it. But um, yeah, I'll definitely be able to wipe this off if it gets any uh, marks on it and try to keep it clean. But that's it. So I get uh, my new setup for my shoes, coffee mugs, and hats, and then my t-shirts over here. And um, I'm going to put a little extension on the other one, guys, on this one. Because it's just not quite big enough, but I have a little bit more of the Sherpa material. So I'm going to put a small extension on it, probably tomorrow. So it'll be big, big enough for everything that I have to do. But uh, yeah, guys, not too shabby. Talk to you soon. Peace.